The Airbnb IPO is this week, and I'm here to give you all of the details. First, we'll do a brief overview of Airbnb for those of you that don't know what it is. Then we're gonna go over the Airbnb IPO date and when you can actually buy Airbnb stock. Next, we'll talk about Airbnb stock price and what we can expect it to start trading at after its IPO. Finally, we'll go over the most important question. Should you buy Airbnb stock? And if so, where can you buy it? Before we get started, if you want four free stocks valued up to $1,600 each, go down below in the description, click the link for Webull. It's the app I trade all of my stocks with. All right, let's get started. So Airbnb was founded in 2008 and it's short for Air Bed and Breakfast. They created a company where people from around the world could put their own houses up for rent. Then the users of Airbnb can actually go and make these rentals, their short-term rentals, just like they would a hotel. Then users of Airbnb would actually go on the website or app and reserve these homes anywhere in the world. This made it so travelers could go to a place and actually experience it like a local would. Houses range from anywhere to very cheap to super expensive and luxurious. So Airbnb can be used by anyone. Now, Airbnb has been privately owned until now. So when exactly does Airbnb IPO on the stock market? Well, it's currently scheduled for Wednesday, December 9th. And then the next day on December 10th, everyone should be able to trade Airbnb stock. Now, one very important thing to know is that many of you watching this video right now will not be able to get the Airbnb IPO on December 9th. Most of the time, IPOs are reserved for wealthy people in various brokerages around the world, meaning that casual traders like you and I probably won't be able to get it. But there are some ways that you may be able to snag an IPO order for Airbnb. There are a few online brokerages that do offer IPOs. Now, one of these options is Webull. It's a brokerage app that you can get on your phone. It's very easy to use. And as I said before, I actually do use it. Again, there's a link down below in the description for the app Webull, but I actually went onto my Webull account and tried to check to see if I was eligible to order the Airbnb IPO. And unfortunately, my account is not able to place any orders for the Airbnb IPO. My inkling is that Webull has a limited amount of orders for the Airbnb IPO, and I just didn't make the cut. If you wanna to check to see if you can order the Airbnb IPO, I would go download Webull right now and check. Now, if you can't get the actual IPO for Airbnb, you'll be able to trade it publicly on the market on December 10th. But be warned, a lot of the time when an IPO hits the market, the price will already be way higher than it was when it IPO'd. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't buy it when you get the chance. Before we talk about whether or not you should actually buy Airbnb stock and the Airbnb IPO, let's go over what it's supposed to IPO for. Airbnb stock is supposed to be around $45 to $50 a share when it does IPO. Quick correction, Airbnb actually raised the IPO IPO price between $56 and $60 a share, up from that $45 to $50 a share price range. Now I do expect that number to go up when it does become publicly available for everybody to trade. Regardless, is a price of around $50 a share or even a little bit higher in the $60 to $70 range a share, is that a good deal should you buy Airbnb stock at that price? Well, I think you can look at it one of two ways. On one hand, Airbnb Airbnb has experienced very good growth over the past few years. I personally know that many people have been switching over to Airbnb instead of the usual hotel chains. The user experience of booking with Airbnb along with the actual experience of the stay can be far better than an actual hotel. On the surface, Airbnb looks like a sustainable business for the future, but there is one issue. The pandemic of 2020 killed Airbnb's sales. Quarters one and two saw terrible losses as nobody was traveling. The Airbnb company valuation fell from 38 billion in 2019 to only 18 billion this year. But analysts are saying that the valuation should go back up to around 35 billion after the Airbnb IPO. Now, in my personal opinion, 
Airbnb is a big buy. I look at Airbnb as the Amazon of 10 years ago. Airbnb is a disruptor in the hospitality industry, just like Amazon was in the retail industry. I can't see a scenario in the near future where Airbnb loses steam. I think their user base will keep growing and growing as houses keep getting put up on Airbnb for rent. And there's nothing I've seen out of the usual hotel brands that makes me think that Airbnb will die because of the hotels doing something different. Just to recap, the Airbnb IPO is on December 9th. It's expected to be around $45 to $50 a share. I think you should buy it and buy it fast. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a like down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.